hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm busi sholo now in today's video i really want to dial in on how to break your goals down into quarterly projects and further break them down into daily tasks to ensure that you follow those tasks to achieve your goal so if you've been wondering that mm -mm, what do i do now that i've set my goals then this video is for you so keep on watching Have you ever found yourself at a space where you feel like you did not achieve the goals that you set for yourself? Even after you've taken all the time and the energy to do the proper goal setting method using the smart goal setting method and you still find yourself saying, I didn't achieve the things that I said I wanted to achieve. Well, I know I have. So that's why today I want to share with you this strategy of taking the goals that you've set for yourself and breaking it down into quarterly projects and then further on breaking it down to daily tasks that you can be able to complete day in day out week in week out month in month out to ensure that at the end of the year you've achieved all your goals for 2020 so grab your pen grab a paper or a journal or your phone anything to just write on and by the way if you had not have not set your goals for 2020 please do check out my previous video about goal setting and follow it through to set smart goals for yourself so now you've set your smart goals so you take the year 2020 which is january to december and you divide it into quarters which is 12 weeks so we have quarter number one which is january to march quarter number two which is um april to june number three which is july to september and the last quarter which is october to december okay so let's leave the last three quarters and focus on the january to march quarter so you've set these goals for yourself and you have this long list so what you do now is that you grab your list of goals for 2020 and you look at them and you say okay which ones are the closest to march and you look at those goals and you look at them and you say okay which of these three goals that are closest to march are actually a priority which other if i achieve them in march which ones are going to be putting me like at a better position at my job or are going to be putting my business at a better position which are those goals that if you really do achieve them they will change your landscape like completely so you take those three goals three being just my number because i think it's better to focus on just a few things and just really be able to dial in and laser focus on that rather than just taking more goals and then being like failing to actually even complete one of those goals so you can choose three you can choose four if you will but i really suggest that you choose three let me make an example using one goal i know i said you must choose three but for the entire step i'll just make take one goal rather and take it through the step to see how we break it down so let's say i want to launch a website and my ideal end deadline rather would be the 31st of March 2020 so now I look at the goal and I say okay what needs to be done in order for me to actually launch the website by the 31st so I need to start acting now right in order to be able to finish by the 31st of March 2020 so I know I need to buy a domain number one I know I need to um oh actually I need to decide am I gonna this website am i going to design it myself or am i go to am i going to go to a developer someone to actually help me with all the work do i have the time to actually do it myself and also thinking of going to a person who's going to help me do i have the money to pay for the services of that person to help me you think of all those things so let's say for this video's sake i'm doing it myself so i'm gonna to have to buy a domain and then i need to take time so when am i going to buy this domain this the action What's the action? It's I have to buy a domain. Who needs to do that? The answer would be me. And by when? Then now, that's where I have to write down, okay, I think I could be able to do that on Saturday. I have time on Saturday, so I'll be able to do it on Saturday. So on Saturday, at what time? You see? So in order to ensure that I need to do that. So what helps there is scheduling. So there's an app that I want to show you guys that I use to do that. It's called Microsoft To Do. Um, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. It looks like that. Microsoft. It's just written to do with that blue tick. So it's Microsoft To Do. So uh, what you do in that app is that you are able to 
add in your 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 task rather which will be now to buy the domain and then it will like your calendar will allow you to schedule that as a task so that you can be able to say okay um i'm gonna do it on saturday and on saturday this is the date is the 25th of january 2020 and i'm gonna do it at one o'clock so you schedule that and you put the time and then you set a reminder maybe you don't have to set a reminder for for that day that time exactly so let's say you wanted to remind you in the morning so you remember that eh, eh, by the time it's one o'clock i need to be done with whatever that i'm doing so you set a reminder for it to remind you that you need to buy the domain at one o'clock right and then let's say number two you need to choose like a host right so you need to now set a time where you're going to be able to sit on the internet and look at if you're going to use godaddy or if you're going to lose use wings or whatever platform that you're going to use to actually launch your website so you need to take the time to look at all those things and also compare them so what do you do again you go to your microsoft to do app um you know that this is a task you have to do to find a host and you know that the person who's going to do that task is you and you also set the time so let's say um you have product let's say i have product that i want to sell my website i also want it to be a shop so i have to look products what products do i sell by the time it launches i should have the products ready i should have um, had a photo shoot i should have all my pictures edited and all those things so what do i do so let's say i want to sell for example let's say journals so i need to find a journal i need to find am i designing am i sourcing so i'm writing down uh design a journal using let's say canva so you design a journal using canva task the person me and then the date i also choose the date and i schedule so i hope it makes sense so by the time i'm done um with that task i already know that i'm supposed to buy a domain on a saturday i know that i'm supposed to choose um a host let's say on sunday i know i'm supposed to develop a, a product wednesday evening uh, i know i'm supposed to book a photo shoot for the date of february I know I'm supposed to you see all of those things. Yes, the goal is to launch the the website by the 31st of March 2020. But now I'm no longer focusing on just that big picture. I've broken it down to smaller manageable tasks and I've also scheduled it and put on reminders so every day I just keep biting. Small piece of the pie, small piece of the pie until come 31st of March 2020, I would have completed my goal. You see, so even if your goal is like it's getting in shape and losing a couple of kilograms, let's say 20 kgs. So look at it from January to March. Well, how, ma how many kgs can you lose? So what do you need to do? So if you're saying I need to join the gym. So let's say you say um, Saturday, I'm going to Virgin Active, for example, to get their contracts, to find out their prices, whatever it is that you need to do for membership. Then you do that. And then after you're done with that, let's say Sunday, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to the to Mr. Price Sports, to buy myself gym gear. You schedule all of those things, you see? And then you say, okay, my starting day for gym is this. So you put that day, let's say my starting day is Monday, Monday evening. And then you also scheduled yourself to be able to do all the things that you normally do on a Monday evening to do them earlier. So if you cook at five, so can you cook at four, for example? If not, can you cook at, at six? When you come back from the gym so you share with all those things to ensure that everything else works around the task that you have to complete in order to complete your goal because if you don't take care of the other things they may interfere with that task that you set for yourself to achieve your goal so i hope that it makes sense that at first i had this big list of goals that i wanted to achieve in 2020 then i only focused on three goals for the first 12 weeks which is of the year and then after that, I focus, I'm focusing on daily tasks that I need to complete in order to ensure that by the end of the quarter, I'm done with my goal. Then next, when it comes to April to June, which is the second quarter, I also choose another set of goals to focus on bit by bit. And come the end of December 2020, surely we would have ticked off a lot of goals on our list. So I hope this was helpful to you. Please do comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And just tell me how it is. How's your planning? How's your goal setting? We're already close to the end of the first month of the year. How's it going for you? Thank you, guys. I'll see you again next week. Bye.